I heard of companies like Ancestry and 23andMe that help people find family connections and learn where they come from. There's another company that's trying to do the same for dog owners. And as new specialist Mike Anderson explains, owners are using it for a lot more than determining their dog's breed. Get it. Arguably the toughest thing about having a dog. Lost his tooth, that's why his tongue stays out there now. Is eventually having to see them go. go get him. But Jasper is still going strong. Come on. Even at his age. Probably about 14, that's what I'm guessing, yeah. Wayne Watson says Jasper is likely his favorite. He's number eight. Of all the dogs he's ever had, which is partly why he wanted to know more. After we had him for a little while, when he was, especially when he was younger, he looked so much like a miniature pincher. Then he heard about something he'd never really considered. And our daughter, who's a veterinary technician, suggested that we get uh, use this Embark vet. Uh, DNA testing, which is like 23andMe and Ancestry.com, but it's for dogs. The idea to make the test available for dog owners comes in part from Adam Boyko, an associate professor at Cornell University. We were doing research grade array testing in my lab where we were looking at, you know, 200,000 markers across the genome. But if you wanted to buy a dog DNA test, the, the most advanced one on the market was only looking at like 300 markers across the genome, right? Boyko is also co-founder and chief science officer at Embark. In his research, he says he was surprised at how many dog owners wanted to help and how much they became attached to what they could find. We need to give owners and veterinarians and breeders, you know, this cutting edge information. There's clearly a demand for it. And now with all of that dog data, the folks in Embark say they've been able to find some markers that show predispositions for certain diseases, helping some dog owners get some better preventative care. And that brings us back to Jasper. He's half chihuahua, quarter cattle, uh, Australian cattle dog, quarter small poodle, or not quarter, quarter, but, and then the rest is just a big mix. No Doberman at all, but there's another reason why Watson got the DNA test. He rescued Jasper from a shelter after he was found in the home of a hoarder in Ogden in 2012 with 148 other dogs. We covered the story here on KSL. Watson says Jasper has always been afraid of other dogs. If you can imagine about 150 dogs all in a, a house smaller than this, uh, probably fighting for their existence, uh, it probably wasn't very pleasant. But he thought if just maybe he could find a dog sibling, that could be different. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> I was thinking maybe if he got together with some of his relatives, he might be a more of a dog person. He says they did find several cousins and one sister. But they had passed away. Still, that's okay. Watson says he's grateful for what they did learn about Jasper, even if it's likely he'll have to remain more of a person person than a dog person. In Layton. He means a lot to me. Mike Anderson, KSL 5 News. There you go. You could have a dog family reunion. Right? Interesting. Yes, you could. <laughs>